Hi, so welcome. Um, it is my pleasure to be interviewing Siobhan McDonough. Um, Siobhan, it's so good to see you. Um, these are such difficult times, such busy times, such challenging times for you. But before we get into that, um, I looked up how long you've been an MP today. Um, 23 years? Oh, wow. That's right, yeah. First 1997. My third well, attempt. Would you quickly tell us um, why you got into politics? Um, well, I was, a question. Up, yeah, I was born and brought up in the area. Uh, I'm obviously with a name like mine, I've got an Irish mum and dad. Uh, Irish people of their generation were really into what was going on around them. Uh, they were Labour voters, um, very observant Catholics. We argued about everything, discussed <laughs> everything. Uh, and when I joined the Labour Party at 16, uh, my dad said, oh, thank God, it's not something worse. So they were delighted. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. That's really good. Thank you for joining us. Um, we're uh, encouraging people uh, from local churches, anybody really, to pray for 40 days. And there's a, sp a specific focus from today through to next Monday on the council, on, on local government. And so you're an absolute ideal person to be talking to. Um, so this is about love, Mitchum. I'm wearing my t-shirt. I don't know whether you have one. We'll have to get you one if you haven't. I have one. Um, have you? Good. Yeah. Um, so quickly tell us about your, because I know you are, passion for Mitchum. Uh, I think Matt's passion. Mitchum. I know you're passionate for Morden as well, but yeah. why are you passionate Mitchum, for Mitchum? I, I think Mitchum's a fabulous place. I think it's broad-minded, forgiving, uh, accepting, generous. I would say if there was a fault is I think that people sometimes put up with too much. They don't complain enough. Um, and uh, I have to say that I regard myself as extraordinarily um, lucky and privileged. Uh, the people of Mitcham have never shown me anything other than complete kindness. Um, you know, I know, you know, lots of people in public life have difficulties, but I have to say people mm. in Mitcham are, are really generous and kind. And you've been at RMP for 23 years. Yeah. Haven't you, here in Mitcham, and uh, done amazing stuff, loads of stuff. Um, personally, we've been grateful for your support with the CAP Centre and, and other things over, over the years. So how can the church in these challenging times pray for for you maybe you can give us a um a, an unpolitical <laughs> um a view of what's going on in the larger world at well, westminster think, as well how can we pray oh i think i think um some of the most amazing prayers are the practical stuff that you do whether it's christians against poverty the yeah. fact that you're there for people in multiple debt when they're in a state of despair and don't know where to go uh, the fact that, you know, you're there for them, you give them time, you help them to get out of that hole. Um, as far as I'm concerned, Christians Against Poverty is the best debt charity I know. And I am grateful every day for the fact mm. that uh, CAP exists, uh, but also sure. that we have a, a, a great uh, CAP branch in Mitcham under Hayley stewardship. So, so I think, I think well. yeah, I think, you know, yeah. I, I think faith is about living the gospel and yep. it's uh, cap is an extraordinary example of living the gospel, but we have so many examples. Um, you know, if you go anywhere to find active volunteering, whether it's, you know, church based people through the food banks, uh, yeah. whether it's the homelessness drop in uh, faith in action, uh, whether yeah. it's, um, you know, the Christmas uh, homelessness hostels in all the churches, uh, whether it's the Christmas Day lunch, you know, uh, Christian care. I don't know if you yes. know well, how well you know Christian care, but yes, I do. Yes, a yes, very well. Multi Christian denominational charity that is there for people who other people don't want to know. Um, yeah. You know, down yeah. to my own um, church um, at St Joseph's in Collier's Wood, they've recently agreed to host. Um, the people providing services to people who are newly here and claiming asylum. So I think the churches do a great job. That's really, really good. Yeah, I heard of an, one of our local nurses was actually, I think they were in the Holiday Inn, weren't they? 
um, one of our nurses was actually sent to, um, to to try to help them. Yeah. So in terms of the church praying, um, yeah, we're trying to mobilize people to do acts of random kindness as well. Um, you know, I, that's yeah. I, I don't know whether you remember the, the the story or the video of the boy saving the starfish. Um, you know that someone yes. says, "Look at all these starfish. There's, there's thousands of them. You can't save them all." And then this boy picks one up, throws it in, and says, "But I can can save this one." And uh, it's just such a heartwarming story that we can all make yeah. a difference, can't we? You know, yeah. just by one act of kindness and yeah. make that. Yeah. So in terms of praying for government. Um, you know, obviously, wisdom and uh, there's no book, is there, written for these times, is there? I suppose. Uh, you know? I think we need. I think we need prayers uh, that we make the right decisions when presented with very difficult yes. circumstances. Because yes. you know, the trouble is, there's never one answer, is there? No. There's always, no. uh, you know, when you're dealing with the um, virus, do you? lock everybody down do you not lock everybody down you know what is yes. the right balance between yes. trying to stop the virus and between uh, making sure that you don't create other problems of loneliness or despair or people not having treatment for cancers i just think these are extraordinarily diff difficult decisions yes yes absolutely yes yeah um well siobhan it was just a brief interview um that, that's, that's fantastic. Is there anything else that you would like to say, maybe uh, to the people of Mitcham, because a number of them will get to hear this? Um, I'd like to thank everybody in Mitcham for all they do for our community. We're coming up to Remembrance Sunday. Yes. Uh, so, um, you know, lots of uh, our members from the uh, Mitcham branch of the Royal British Legion will be out with their tins in the supermarkets. Um, I'll be at um, Sainsbury's on Saturday. Uh, and I know it's been a tough year for people, but I, I kind of I'm sure people will be as, you know, mm. more customarily generous as they are. So I would just say, keep on being kind to people. Just keep on going. Keep the faith. You know, we are going to turn the corner. I can't tell you when, uh, but we just we just got to keep going. And uh, sure. to people of faith, just, yeah, keep praying. Sure. Thank you. We, we're organising um, a, a particular prayer meeting for the local government for the council for the government on on Sunday actually we've put something up on Facebook from five to six so just anyone that wants to come read their prayers send their prayers listen to prayers um, so it's going to be completely open where we'll be crying for our local government um, Siobhan thank you thank you for being um, our passionate MP um, we do respect you and we thank you for your heart and love for Mitchum thank you very thank much you. bye Kevin okay bye-bye